I think China just solved global warming. It's crazy. This is probably the most important news we've heard for the century, even. So, for the folks who don't know about this, so in China they actually just completed a nuclear reaction of this new power plant they built. It's still a small pilot, but they're going to expand it, and it's a successful pilot. What they're doing is actually creating a new type of nuclear power plant. What's changed is that it's using something called、uh, thorium to as a fuel. For the folks who don't understand nuclear reaction, essentially today all the nuclear factories or、uh, generators we use something called uranium to burn、uh, to essentially create energy, right, to heat. And today, think of this way: we're essentially the fuel we have. They're they're rods or solid state. So think of it as like we're burning wood to generate heat and creating electricity, right? With thorium, which is the new technology, it's a new type of、um, um, element essentially, and it's very easily accessible. It's actually in liquid form. Okay, so I guess we're talking about thorium reactors again. So listen, this is not new technology. I mean, everything the guy says in the video is, I guess, correct, but. He's talking about it as if he's never heard of it, heard of it before, and he gives a false impression that this is somehow new. Thorium reactor, you know, technology has been around for decades. Actually,、um, India has a thorium reactor, and yeah, this it just never took off using thorium as an alternate alternative fuel cycle to uranium.、Um, And you know the standard reason I think is probably correct is mainly because the uranium cycle produces plutonium, which we need for our bombs,、uh, which is true. And ma- you know many of the you know the nuclear reactors are military reactors. They you know, they're meant to create you know these byproducts for our nuclear weapons industry.、Uh, but that aside, that that issue aside, yeah, it's just an alternate. You know, fissile material cycle that you can use in order to generate heat and generate electricity, and there's a lot of advantages to thorium.、Uh, it it is overall safer. It doesn't doesn't produce as much spent nuclear fuel, and it doesn't produce the weaponizable spent nuclear、uh, fuel, or at least as easily weapon weaponizable. So it's good for commercial nuclear power plants. Um, so yeah, we've we've talked about this on my podcast, The Skeptic Side to the Universe, before. Would love to see you know companies develop thorium reactors. I, I'm I'm happy that China is doing it. That's great. They're dramatically increasing the amount of energy that they're producing. They're now the number one, not per capita, but per country. They're the number one pollute you know greenhouse gas emitter in the world. So. Sure, generate as much of electricity as you can through thorium reactors. The other thing that was brought up was the the salt cool, cooled reactors. Again, this is not a new technology. I mean, it's new in that it's we're we're now coming out with it. They they didn't invent this technology.、Um, there are salt cooled designs that are already out there. Uh, the、um, in Wisconsin, there's a there's a, a large nuclear reactor being built. The one that Bill Gates is you know financing, that is a salt cooled reactor design. This is all the next gen nuclear reactors, right? The, the Gen four nuclear reactors. Some can use a thorium cycle. Some can use salt cooling. They're they're designed to be safer,、um, to to produce less spent nuclear fuel. Some could use reprocessed nuclear fuel from older plants,、uh, which is good, and they're also going for like small modular designs to try to make them more、uh, to reduce the upfront cost. They're not actually more cost effective. The bigger plants are actually more cost effective in terms of electricity production per dollar that you put into it, but the upfront costs are billions. You know, they're they could be very high.、Um, He t- he brings up later on in the video this c- notion of electricity that's too cheap to meter. This is a claim that's been also been around since what the 50s, the 60s. That was sort of the original claim for nuclear power. It's going to be so produce so much energy so cheaply it'll be too cheap to meter. Free electricity never happened. It's n- the one downside of nuclear power is that it's still relatively expensive compared to like renewables.、Um, I don't think it's more expensive if you consider the climate change angle of fossil fuels. 
And if you diverted some of those massive subsidies that we're giving to the fossil fuel industry, to the nuclear power industry, that would go a long way to help mitigate global warming. So I do think we need nuclear in the mix. A lot of experts think that if we need to have every you know low carbon option on the table. And I hope that thorium comes into the mix. That's great. It is a totally viable technology. It just needs to be developed, right? We just need to fully develop the technology. So it's good that we have a demonstration plant in China. It's mostly, mostly, by the way, based upon open, they do say this in the video, open source information that was made open source you know, by the U.S. government. So uh, again, this is sort of old technology, but you do have to bring it over the threshold, right? You have to make it at scale and cost effective enough and safe enough. And that's totally doable. Again, I seriously hope we start to see a lot of thorium reactors in the future.